hello. In the first part of our video, it was told how the Acronic True Image program can help in problem situations, where you can download it and how to install it on your computer. The second part of the video is about creating a bootable flash memory card. And now we will show a few simple operations that are available to every computer owner. How to create an image of a C disk using an Acronic True Image boot drive. After all, almost every computer user faced software problems that he himself could not solve and was forced to turn to specialists. Having spent a lot of time, nerves and money to recover. But if you create an image of the system in advance with everything that is on the C drive, and then all the programs, games, drivers, documents, passwords and personalization settings, all this will remain in the image and will be restored in just 5 to 10 minutes without any changes in exactly the same form as it was at the time of creating the image. Now it will not be necessary to install from the very beginning the operating system, drivers and everything else, after spending only a few minutes you get what it was before some kind of failure on the computer, and it is important for both those who are not well versed in computers and it is also important for professionals. And so, we start creating an image. The flash drive is connected and you need to restart the computer. The computer rebooted and in the message on the monitor to boot from the flash drive we were offered to press the number 1 on the keyboard, push 1. The flash drive was loaded and the main menu of the program is in front of us, on the right two main actions are backup, and restore. To create an image, select backup and on the next page at the top select backup of disks and partitions. The next window shows all the disks of this computer. We need disk number 1, we mark only it, we look at the bottom of the window the volume of the future image and click next. In this window, select create a new backup archive and open browse, specify the location for storing the created image. Here you need to give the image a name, and click OK. And so, the action is chosen. Storage place selected. Now click next. The last completion page has opened and now you need to carefully read and check what operations the program will perform. If everything is correct, then click proceed and, the creation of the image began. The last window prompts you to restart or turn off the computer after the operation is completed. We choose shut down. We wait. Operation complete, the disk image is created and now all our data is protected from any of the problems that can happen to the computer, and at any time, all this data can be restored in just 5 to 10 minutes. How to do it, see the fourth and last part of our video about the Ochronic True Image program. Good luck to all.